Welcome to Shraf's technical series. In today's session, we'll update our LangChain based OpenAI based uh, model to follow this format, the supervisor and the agent system, where the supervisor will have set of agents and the supervisor will call these agents to perform the action. So I picked the sample from this uh, Git URL example. I'll provide the link to this example. In the previous sessions, we created two files. One is the LangChain helper in which we were querying the data in these two JSON files for the mutual funds. And we were focusing on the top holdings of these two mutual funds, 4AXUS and uh, AAACXUS. And then we did a bunch of queries on them. So the queries are here in the, you could go through the pre previous sessions. What is uh, triple CX US top holdings, etc. And then we did queries like this using JSON key top holdings for the given JSONs, give the difference of weights of the top five holdings. So we, uh, we did that in the previous session. In today's session, I'll update the code base to use agent supervisor based system and then perform some advanced queries like this using JSON key top holdings for the given JSON get the top five holdings. Then for the top five holdings, uh, merge them into a single JSON list, add add file as the key in the JSON file names so that uh, we, for, we create a un single list. Then we'll load that single list into a pandas data frame and then uh, do some operations on the pandas data frame. So this way we're going to use two agents. One is the JSON agent and the other is the pandas agent. And then we stitch those two agents together using supervisor agent based model, which is shown here. Supervisor would uh, route the queries to the corresponding agents like the JSON agent and the data frame agent. In future, we can add more agents. One caveat is uh, it's not fully functional yet. Uh, for some reason, it gives me multiple errors. So today, at least we'll go through the code base. In a later session, I'll improve the framework so that it at least gives us some uh, meaningful answers. So for the demo, I already ran the code base one. So I'll show the output that is generated. So when I executed the agent supervisor.py file, agent supervisor.file, the supervisor picked the current uh, agent, JSON agent. Then the JSON agent took all the top holdings of the two mutual funds. Then it merged those two mutual funds top holdings into a single JSON file, which is shown here. Here's the formatted JSON list. And to that single JSON file, it added the key called file. So if we go to the key file. So those two JSON lists, it added them into a single JSON list and it added a key called file and it added the name of the file from which that list is generated. And then the idea was to create a group by on that list to get the output. But for some reason, I'm getting a token exceeded error. So I have to modify the code base to be more useful. It did this one. It got the top five holdings from each JSON file. And then it merged those two into a single list and added the column called file to which it put in which it put the file name. Then the next step was to pass it to the pandas agent so that that JSON list will be converted into a pandas dictionary, pandas data frame, and then it would do a group by on that data frame. So this part is not working yet, but these three work. So using agent supervisor based model, agent supervisor based model, we can stitch multiple agents together and create a complex workflow. Now I'll go through the code base. Before we do that, I'll just run it once again. It will run in the background. It, take, it takes a little bit to run. So let it run in the background while we go through the code base. I already went through the LangChain helper file, so I won't cover that today. I just modified the file in uh, into functions so that I can export those functions into another Python module and call it there. I won't go through the LangChain helper file.py here, but I'll add it to the gist. In GitHub, you can go through it there. So the agent supervisor code is based on the code provided here. In this example, it, it does a research and then prints out the output, but I modified it to use the agents I created in the previous session. So I'll go through the code base at a very high level. If you have any questions, you can always reach me out. We have a function called create agent, which takes LLM model. In, in our case, we tied it to chat 
open AI, but it can be any other model, say Llama 2, Llama, Python, etc., Mistral. Then the create agent takes a list of tools and a system prompt so that the agent will initialize itself whenever we prompt it with prompt here through the string. The create function will uh, take those parameters and then will return us an agent executor. Agent executor is the Langchain uh, class which uh, defines an agent. Then since this is a workflow based system, we need to create a node. So this creates an agent node which takes the agent executor and the name and the state and then returns the this dictionary. In our system, we have two members now. We have the JSON agent and the pandas agent. We define the members, then the system prompt will then the system prompt will tie all these members into a single prompt, which we did here. And then for OpenAI function calling, we need to have the function definition. So we define this function definition so that we can use OpenAI function calling. And the function definition takes this schema, JSON schema, with parameters title of type object and the parameter title takes these properties and the required field, next is the required field. The next will have the title any of enum options, any of these options, which are nothing but our list of agents. And then we all already add a marker saying finish. If uh, LLM returns us this marker, that means LLM is done with processing the information, then we'll stop our for loop. Then we prompt, create a prompt, and then we create a supervisor chain, take the prompt, the LLM prompt, and then take the Langchain helper, which is in this function, which is in this module. We get the OpenAI class from here, chat OpenAI LLM, and then we create this supervise the chain. Now we create our individual agents. Langchain helper, this one returns chat open AI. Get JSON agent returns an executor. From that executor, we just pick out the tools so that we can create an agent here, which is agent executor. Then we bind that agent to JSON node, which uses function tools partial agent node. Agent node is a function we just discussed, which takes agent and name. So to the function partial, we bind those two parameters. So that's how we get the node for the workflow. Similarly, pandas agent, we get the tools from the pandas agent, diff get agent tools, and then the prompt, and we get pandas node from the agent. So we create a state dictionary like this, agent state, which takes a type to dict, and then it's a, just a class. We need this class to define our state graph. It's a Langchain internal uh, system. So we create a state graph like that which returns a workflow. And to the workflow, we add individual nodes, which we just created, the JSON agent node, pandas agent, supervisor. So once we add the nodes, and then for members, we have to add the edges. So for a JSON add edge to a member, for each member, we add the supervisor as one of the edges. So that it's a circular. If you go back to the graph, for each member, we add the edge as the supervisor. Like so, supervisor is connected to all individual agents, but these agents are not connected to each other. So that way there's no circular loop. It's just always the supervisor and the agent. We create these edges. Once we add those edges, we start the OpenAI, compile the graph. If the graph is compiled and that there are no circular loops, then we, with the OpenAI call which we discussed in the previous session so that we can print out the cost for use the graph and call the stream function on it and then we start a message the stream function will start the loop and it will keep printing the messages as and when it pro gets the responses from the chat gpt open ai in the end this mark is called if there's a if the llm returns finish h when it returns finish string, we call an end and then we print the print that the system has uh, completed the processing the question. Then we print out the cost. So that's about the code base at the high level. I started the question again. So it's printing right now. It's going through the whole process. It's definitely a little bit slow, but sometimes it gives the answers and sometimes it fails. So in the next session, I'll... Uh, improve the solution so that at least we can get some basic answers answered by the chat GPT so that uh, we can integrate this into the Shraf's UI and then we can complete the whole process where we'll go to the mutual fund screen. We'll have a chat session here and from the mutual fund screens, we'll ask questions on the mutual funds we have listed here. So I'll just add another tab here for processing the queries on the mutual fund. So it is still going on, but I'll stop the video for now 
and i'll stop today's session for now if you have any questions on this uh, code base please let me know in the either in the youtube channel or in the documentation page thank you for watching